What's going on guys, welcome to the film on the show, the show that brings you the latest short films, visual effects and tutorials. I'm your host Edge FM, it's been a while. Phone's off on set man, what's wrong with you? It's your phone, it's the filmmonger's phone. I'll turn it off. Look at he's got a mic all in the camera. Oops. It's been a while. Regardless we've been working and today we're here to bring you another great tutorial on an effect from our latest short film, Guns and Action Clichés. And if you ain't seen it, you know what to do. Get the fuck off this video. Get to watching it. Then come back here, obviously, you know how it goes. I know! <laughs> Guns and Action Clichés is our latest action short film where we've combined all of our previous effects that we've taught on the channel into one. So if you haven't seen it, go back and refer to those previous effects. So today we're going to be focusing on wall hits. Yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that we actually done was we applied the 3D camera tracker to our actual footage. And by now, obviously, we've already done this, so... What we did was we just imported our stock footage in of our debris, aka wall hits. We then turned it to a 3D layer and parented it to a null that we had already created from using the 3D camera tracker to analyze the footage. If you don't know how to do that, just refer back to another video. We do teach it there. It's not hard. All right. Moving on, we repositioned our stock footage in the scene. We also changed the the time that it actually offset, so it would look more realistic. We resized it as it's 3D layer. We, re we rotated it a little bit. We adjusted the size. In some cases you might need to speed the footage up so the smoke comes out a little bit faster again it's literally up to how it looks in the scene there is no correct number lastly we color corrected our stock footage to make it blend in with the scene as color correction is very important to making your composites look great in an example where an obstacle is blocking the smoke, you will literally just mask around the obstacle to have the effect of the smoke being behind the obstacle. And that is it. It's pretty simple. Again, if, if you need to know a bit more, if you feel like I didn't explain it properly, please just leave a comment. I will respond. Let me know. The example that we actually used was when we was making the floor hits. However, it's the same process to make the wall hits, so you shouldn't struggle with the effect at all. So thank you guys for watching another episode of the Filmmonger Show. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned something. We're sorry about our time commitment. We are committed to making great films, but we need you to be committed to us so we can provide these great films. So please hit that subscribe button, share this video, like it leave a suggestion on what you want to know and let's carry on making great films baby